So there's something I before we move on to talking in full about um um this red oh he retweeted Andy Nyo. Okay, so he's just a complete propagandist. Andy Nyo is totally nobody should ever take Andy Nyo seriously. The guy lies constantly, like outright fabrications. Complete propagandist, 100%. My mom worked 8 hour 12 hour days. Six days a week to provide for a household of 10 plus sometimes. During the holidays, she picked up a third job to afford gifts. My sister insists my mom was lazy because she was a lefty. Hilariously, my, my sister fucked her way into a state job. All right, now. All right. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, uh, into a state job she isn't qualified for and has been shuffled around for being incompetent now she makes over 20 an hour to license plumbers because it's the only thing the state could find that she isn't too stupid to do meanwhile leftists crazy i mean that is something you see a lot people whose jobs are actually not that hard will scorn other people um by talking about how miserable they are at their job it's totally fucked it's a totally fucked mentality and it's 100 percent driven by the fact that it's in co companies interests to make it valuable for you to be miserable at your job. Because if you're miserable at your job, you won't complain because you feel like you're doing something morally good. It's fucked. It's totally fucked. Yeah, it's totally fucked. Yep, absolutely. Let's, um, let me just, let me just bring up this real quick. Cause there's a video I wanted to watch, um, together before we go on to the next section. So let's watch this. Cause this one's a little bit funny and we need a little bit of like a, we need a mood changer before we go talk about bullshit jobs. So let's watch this together. No. So this is reporting done by local and local ABC news channel interviewing people at a no mask protest. Okay. So we're just, that's the context. This is at a no mass protest, and I want to I want you to see the signs and hear what people are saying at this event. All right, because um, there's some major right wing LARPing going on, but it is funny, so let's watch it. Now hundreds have gathered here in front of the Washington County Administration Building, calling for the end of a mask mandate, saying they are tired of not living their normal lives. A passionate call for action Friday morning in St. George. Several police officers on standby as many locals called concerns about coronavirus spikes End of the tyranny. overblown. The flu kills more than coronavirus. Others calling the virus a hoax or stating that asymptomatic carriers simply kids. do not exist and they cannot be forced to wear masks anywhere as citizens of the United States. If we want to wear a mask, that's fine. We can take care of ourselves. Some rally attendees say they shouldn't ever wear masks if they have any medical issues or mental health concerns or if they feel they simply can't breathe when george floyd was saying i can't breathe and then he died and now we're wearing a mask and we say i can't breathe Ooh. but we're being forced to wear it anyway but many say that can we just, can we just replay that one real quick can we just replay that one real quick and he died and now we're wearing a mask and we say i can't breathe but we're being forced to wear it anyway. But many say that they believe in all Ooh. cases. Masks jeopardize kids' health. Parents are demanding they have Cringe. the right to decide what to do with their children. I'll tell you another reason I'd hate masks. Most child molesters love them. School administrators responding that they don't understand why. I'll tell you another reason I hate masks. <laughs> Holy shit, Grandma. What another the fuck? I'd hate masks. Most child molesters love them. School administrators responding that they don't understand why Grandma, what the fuck? Based on a mandate given by the governor. They blocked off the uh, front entrance to the school building and we went out to ask them to move and they uh, attempted to storm the school building. The school board is implementing the governor's recent order that face shields alone are not enough. And if a parent is adamant that their child cannot wear a mask. Look at this shit. Look at this fucking shit. Look at this fucking shit. These are the biggest victims in the world. Imagine, imagine being so snowflakey, so determined to seem like a victim that you have to try and equate yourself to your, your caricature of a trans person because you have to wear them because people have asked you to wear a mask so that your infected lungs don't infect everyone around you. One joke, one joke, and they constantly use it to self-victimize. Holy shit. Or shield. They must fill out a form including a doctor's note so the district can 
Mine are uh, air airs. I don't know. And review it. And St. George, Katie Kralis. Oh, 100% under the thunder. 100% true. That's 100% true. So, so this is the shit that we're dealing with. And this is why, okay, not, not, not going to lie. All right. Europe, Europeans sometimes come across a little smug when they're talking about Americans. Cause they're like, oh, America's so stupid. Ha ha ha. Meanwhile, they're having right wing surges in their own countries as well. But let's be real. This is looking pretty bad for America right now. When you have a grandma that's like, I don't like masks because, because pedophiles wear them. Like that is just like, what? That is just derangement. You're just out on the street screaming. I don't like masks because I, because the, because Hitler would have worn a mask. You could have said that and it would have been more effective. It would have been a better argument. Holy shit. So we got that. We've got the kid who's just like repeating, literally repeating a talking point directly from Fox News. The flu kills more people than coronavirus. Oh, it's 100% QAnon. That's 100% QAnon. The, 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 the child molester ring thing is 100% QAnon. QAnon has this whole thing where they believe that parents are like, Okay, so there's this whole thing where QAnon believes that children are being given up um, to the pedophile ring. But then when they say, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. There's no missing, there's like way less missing children reported here than, you, than you're saying there are. Then they go, well, yeah, that's because the parents are in on it. Literally, when, when even though when children go missing, that type of thing gets reported instantly. Like, of course, parents are like, oh my God, my kid's gone. Fuck, they'll go report it instantly. But when, when those reports, when there's no reports there, they just say, oh, well, the parents are in on it. Even though there's no evidence of that, they just say, oh, well, the parents must be in on it then. It couldn't be that we're wrong, that we're lying about children being abducted from suburban America, white children being abducted from suburban America. It couldn't be that we're wrong about that. It must be that the parents are in on it. So Democrat parents are now considered in cahoots with literally what they call the cabal. Wow! We are in a crazy state in America, aren't we? We are in a wild state of affairs here. Things have gone really off the cliff. Um, yeah, but like, again, another thing I'll point to. Now, I have mixed feelings about children at protests. I have really, really mi mixed feelings about children at protest. Because on one hand, I do think that children sometimes have genuine political feelings and that they want to have expressed. But what I do find really weird is when a kid is literally repeating one-for-one -one wording from the propaganda put out on Fox News. And I have to go, damn, that looks a lot like the thing I was just talking about, doesn't it? It looks just like that indoctrination thing I was talking about, about perpetually repeating identical messages until they become ground into your head that they must be facts. Imagine wanting to move to America and own property and be a landlord as capital would desire. Looking at people getting full unemployment, not paying rent because they're because they're not forced to because the U.S. is so bad at everything that we can't get COVID contained and build up a sense of security and accountable public structures. Why the fuck would any entrepreneurial type person want to move here? Yeah. The only types of people who want to move here are financiers. If you're in the if you're in the finance industry, if you're a venture capitalist, that's where the money is. If you're already a millionaire or a billionaire or you inherited uh, your parents' slave fortune, that's, wh that's who America attracts. Come on over. We'll give you all the tax refunds and everything. Yeah. Outside perspective here is fucking, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine the people who see this from, from overseas and go, what the fuck is happening in America? Although I do know, again, I do know a couple of countries are having their own issues with QAnon, Germany and the UK, for example. I think uh, Grime Dango just brought that up a second ago, um, which is true, 100%. But I mean, nowhere near to the same degree that we are. QAnon is like exploding here. And that's the mentality that it has. It's not a rational ideology. It's, I won't wear a mask because the cabal 
is the one telling me to do it, even though it literally, not only does it make sense on, um, on like a scientific level, it makes sense even on the so-called common sense level. We, it is a lung disease. The, the, back, the viruses come out of your lungs and they go out into the air and they infect other people. If you put a mask on, it stops, it catches a whole lot of the viruses and if somebody else is wearing one, then you both are reducing the amount of viruses going in the air. I mean, true, it is a blood disease. It is actually a, a it is actually affects the blood disease. But yes, but it's spread through the lungs. It's spread through the lungs. It's a respiratory illness is, is yeah. Okay, that's true. I mean, fair. But the, the number one way, the number one way of transmission from what I've heard from every single story that I've watched is through the, lung, is through the lungs. Droplets from your mouth. You breathe out and it goes, the droplets, uh, the, the virus, um, the viral load goes in the, the moisture in your mouth and it gets carried out into the air. The crazy thing about this, and one of the things that I think people miss a lot of times, um, um, that, uh, there's, there's like a lot of times, um, is, is this idea that, or sorry, this gets overlooked a lot of times is what I should say, is that all of these people are fixating on self on 100% selfish things. They don't even realize that it's not them that is being protected by wearing a mask. It's their fellows. The mask protects other people. Everyone wearing a mask protects everyone because the mask doesn't block much from getting into your mouth, unfortunately, but it blocks a lot from getting out of your mouth. So what they're saying is I reserve the right to give you a disease. And that is just the true absurdity of all of this. Coronavirus killed nine, 926,000 people within six or seven months, while the flu kills 646,000 per year. These idiots need to stop making this argument. Oh, of course. It's completely false. The argument is completely and utterly stupid. Com totally dumb. It, the argument doesn't even make sense. It's propaganda that gets repeated again and again and again until they accept it as true, whether it's true or not. Even though it's obviously false, they repeat it again and again and again, and they rely on the fact that there's barely any counter narrative, that most of the counter narrative is happening on shows like this one that is happening on, I mean, okay, to be fair on coronavirus, there is some level of counter narrative, but it's not particularly strong. Let me see this. Uh, let's see. Um... Just because you, oh, oh, okay. So this is Breakfast Detective. So there's actually evidence coming out that masks might contribute to immunity because you only intake small amounts of the virus through the mask versus larger doses. Well, that's one of the things that um, all of the viral experts, like I've watched a number of interviews with um, with people who are working firsthand with this, who are in charge of like actually addressing this for major hospitals. I've watched a number of them and they've said like viral load is incredibly important. Hey, uh, Otono no Aji, thank you for coming by today. So happy to have you. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon, okay? Take care of yourself. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, that would make sense to me. Again, I'm not a virologist, but I mean, obviously with viral load being so important, it would make sense that increased mask usage could make you more resistant to it. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, but oh, that's the other thing I wanted to talk about with this. The other thing that's been going around a lot is people talk about herd immunity. Donald Trump, they talked about this at the RNC. We must reach herd immunity. We must reach herd immunity, herd immunity, herd immunity, herd immunity, herd immunity, herd immunity ad nauseum until your brain explodes. They'll say herd immunity. But what they don't realize is that we won't reach herd immunity. You can't. It's almost, it's almost impossible that we will reach herd immunity. Even if everybody fucking t t uh, took off their mask and coughed in each other's mouth right now, the number of people that it would take for us to even reach anything resembling what can be framed as herd immunity would be unfathomable. The number of, of, of deaths would be unbelievable. Hey, Goslow, welcome to the stream. That is Pompo, my friend. That is um, a variant of Pepe that I made myself. I am not right wing. Um, Pepe was originally created by a left winger and right wingers stole Pepe from the left wingers. So we here in Demon Mama's channel are stealing it back. Pepe's ours, baby. And in fact, we have endorsement from the creator of Pepe itself. 
We love Pompo here. Pompo is, is a variant of Pepe that we all love. And look at him. He's so cute. Look at him. I'm going to turn the emote wall back on. Pe Pepe is for the people. What? That's not even what this means. It's a meme, my dude. You don't have personal ownership over a meme. You're so silly. You're so silly. You're such a silly one. Do you know what, do you know what private property means, dude? Do you know what that even means? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. A right winger who doesn't know what private property means? Wow. Who would have seen that one coming? Redistribute the memes of production. True. True, Goslo. I didn't know you were a leftist. Amazing. Redistribute the memes of production. We got it. We got it right here. Checkmate, right wingers. Owned. Look at those pompos. Look at that solidarity. Fuck yeah. Based and true. That's, that's bait. Yeah, it could be. Um, nobody, because, dude, I don't even know what you're talking about. Anyway, we have more important things to talk about. Um, the, um, it, oh, um, fuck, what the fuck was I going to talk about? You've derailed my brain. We have way more important things to talk about than memes. Bye-bye. Bye. Don't be annoying. That's one of the rules. Don't be annoying. Don't be annoying. You're not funny. That wasn't funny. I was like actually engaging with you and memeing with you. We were having an okay time and then you just started to be annoying. Why would you do that? Oh, well, bye-bye. I know you won't miss that account because you made it two minutes ago, but it's all right. It's okay. Yeah, at least be amusing. If you're going to come in here and be a dumbass, at least be amusing. That wasn't even amusing. Yeah, it's probably Redneck sending his friends. That's probably true. But we welcome them because they can come here and if they're not annoying, they will learn more than they would if they were watching Rednecks. Well, yeah, but annoying in a good way. Come on, you know what I mean. Extremely bad faith. Extremely bad faith. You know exactly what I mean. Not that kind of annoying. Don't be annoying like that. Be annoying like being like, hey, you motherfuckers, did you know that our country is operating fucking eugenics camps? Did you know that? Did you know that Donald Trump is doing that? That's the way to be annoying. B coming in and going, ha ha, owned, owned, owned. Dab. Dab. Um, is, um, is, is, yeah, let's dab.